Welcome back to the channel and to yet another Fortnite Tips and Tricks video. And this one is going to be another VOD review or Inside the Mind style video where I'm going to walk you through the decisions I make and give you tips and tricks while playing a game of Fortnite Zero Builds. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So this far along into the season, you should probably have a pretty good idea of what you're looking for when you drop into a game and what you're planning on doing, where you're going to land, what kind of loadout that you want to run. So I chose to land at Grimgate this game because I know this POI very well from last season. And you can also still get Cerberus's Mythic Shotgun. So that's a guarantee every single game that I can come here and get an extremely strong and overpowered shotgun. And as you know with Fortnite, shotguns have always been key to winning close range fights. Now this location also has a lot of slurp barrels all around it so I can also guarantee myself full shields every time I land here even if I do not find shields. So now I go and challenge Cerberus here and I immediately notice a second set of footprints. Oh what a surprise someone ratting and tries to come to fight me when I choose to fight the boss. Getting flashbacks from last season already now some things never change I swear. So now I'm um, continuing my fight with Cerberus here now. Pistols are always very good to use against them, but also I think a lot of people are sleeping on the Tri-Beam Laser Rifle. It's one of my favorite weapons this season. Now it does overheat if you shoot too much, but anytime you swap to it, it's always going to be fully loaded because you don't ever have to reload the thing. Now Cerberus did fry my health a little bit, so I retreated to use some of my underworld dashes I got from the green water just to get up to heal. Also, I wanted to see if anyone else was going to come out and try to start fighting the boss or to try to fight me. Assuming I might have been weak, which did not happen here. There we go, there's that tri laser rifle. You can switch that any time, it's going to be loaded. Very, very underrated weapon this season. Also, you're going to want to be carrying something to counter cars this season, and I think it is probably one of the best counters to cars. And not too many people seem to be really uh, using it, and I don't understand why. Especially in solos where the cars have less health. You can literally fry a car in solos with that gun so very, very quickly. And it's hit scan. So you don't have to worry about bullet drop or bullet travel time. And on top of that, it has infinite ammo. So I don't get what's not to like about this item. So now, anyways, I started one of the shadow briefings in order to get a loot crate drop. And unfortunately, there was a couple of interesting things in this one. I wasn't interested in the boom bolt because, like I said, I have the tri -beam laser rifle. Now, I did choose to grab these EMPs as they are another great car counter. And also, my green assault rifle only had 46 bullets. So now, those Cerberus dashes, I used those to jump back up because I take this guy up. I'm running underneath the Titan hand, came up, and boom, hit him with a few shots of the gatekeeper, and then swap it over to the pistol, which is an excellent sidearm. And GG's to this player. If you're running the Mythic Gatekeeper, you definitely want to be running some type of follow-up weapon, just in case you do miss one of your shots, since you can't add a drum bag to it. And now, another reason why I do like to land on the Underworld side of the map this season, just because you're not really going to bump into too many Medallion players early on, so it's going to allow you to get a good loadout, and plus, you're not going to see too many cars early on, because it's kind of hard to traverse that area of the map with a vehicle. And... Let's not forget about that greed water to get those dashes. Anytime you can, dip your feet in that water to make sure you replenish your dashes. As you can see in this video, I already used it once to evade Cerberus to heal, and a second time in order to get the jump on that player on top of the Titan hand. So now here, there's a guy in a car here. He has an NPC, so I know he's a real player. I started frying his car with the tri laser rifle, and then quickly swapped over to the Cerberus shotgun, and it was GG's, and thank you for the crowd. They also dropped me a Harbringer SMG, which is an even better follow-up weapon to the Gatekeeper, in my opinion, than the pistol. This thing is really deadly up close. And it has one of the highest DPS damage per second in the entire game, actually. So a lot of people are also sleeping on this weapon, especially after it was buffed in this season. Now, even though I do despise the car meta and cars with guns annoy me, I'm still not opposed to use them for transportation or even to use them in fights if I have to. So I grabbed a G-Wagon and headed over towards the Amazon warehouse in the center of the map. Now here's this tri laser rifle. See that? I think I have 39 from out here. So as long as the dot in the center of the crosshair is on the target, you will hit them with this gun at long range, which is kind of crazy. It takes a little bit to get used to, but it is so good long range once you get the hang of it. And now you see here that I'm carrying the fists. That is a weapon mobility item that you need to be carrying every single game if you do not want to be using a vehicle. 
because you need something to be able to reposition and to escape cars and to just get up to high ground where cars cannot get to you. It also pairs very good with the tri-beam laser rifle, the boom bolt, or even just do two uppercuts in the air and then throw down an EMP on the vehicle. The fists are also great for rotation, for escaping fights, and also for countering people who are trying to jump on you with the fists. And now while I'm trying to beam this guy with my tri-beam, I notice some sniper glint, so he either has probably a DMR or one of the new sniper rifles, so I use my dashes just to kind of reposition somewhere where there's a little bit more cover before I went back to try to keep re-engaging on him. Now there's a car sitting there, so I put a little bit of damage on it. Now notice this tri laser rifle does 70 damage to vehicles. It has no damage drop-off at range. So if we hit someone, it's going to do 39 damage. So I hit this guy twice. So that's 78 damage at that range. That's not too bad at all, and plus it has infinite ammo, so you can just spam it all you want. So one of the core strategies I find myself using this season is just using the fists to reposition. And since a lot of people are still using cars, I just keep repositioning and just chipping away at their cars at range until I blow up their car. And they're usually not very good once they're out of their car because a lot of players are still just kind of stuck in using these cars as a crutch item to try to win their games. And they usually don't loot up very good either. So now you may have noticed I disengaged that long range fight I was having as I noticed footprints on my screen and ended up using the fists to get up and over the Amazon warehouse. And I've been kind of looking around it trying to find where this player is inside and I haven't had any luck at first here. And then as soon as I see this door open, I know exactly where this guy is. I miss one of my gatekeeper shots. I move out of the way when he's fisting, and that makes him have to keep going in a forward momentum. Oh my god, stop mantling! Oh my god, I hate mantling in this game. Arr. And I swap to my SMG, sorry about that, and quickly fry him, because like I said, that Harbringer SMG is just nasty up close. Now, I had to back up on the hill, I'm looking around, I see that car out of the distance, so I decided to take a few more pop shots at it just to blow it up. And then I keep looking around, and then finally I get an indicator that there's some more shooting somewhere out to the east. So now I'm looking for it, and I see a car drive on past, I go take a few shots at it, and then I immediately notice some footprints coming from behind me. So I jump over towards this player, pull out the gatekeeper, run out of bullets, switch to my SMG, and pride it. Now I have two cars near me, so I immediately jump up in the air with my fists to reposition as I need to reload my SMG and my shotgun. So it's not worth me staying around there with two vehicles trying to fight it when my weapons are not loaded. Also notice where I reposition to, on top of a roof where vehicles cannot drive to. And I see another vehicle that's parked down there with the weapon turned on it, so I say, you know what, a couple shots will blow this thing up too. Now do you see how good that tri-beam laser rifle is against vehicles this season? I head back over towards the hill as I see indicators of fighting in the distance, and this is clearly the two cars that were pulling up on me earlier. Now I see these two players fighting, and while they are fighting, one takes out the one player, and I just beam the other with the tri-beam, and now I am rewarded with a free medallion. So now at this point, I already have 7 kills, there's only 15 players left, and now I'm finally just bumping into the first medallion players. Now I do end up swapping out my SMG for the Machinist Mythic Combat AR, as now I finally actually have some ammunition to go with it, and that weapon is just a lot more versatile than the SMG would be had I kept it. Now, I keep going around looking for more enemies, and I spot this guy rotating in on the hill over here, so I use my gloves in order to get closer to him. I end up on top of a hill, I'm looking for him, trying to see where he exactly went, and then I finally see him jump up down by the Peabody gas station, right below this hill. So I start taking a few shots at him. Now, I really should have used the Machinist AR here instead of the laser gun at that range, but I just started shooting. I have my shotgun out, I hit a shot on him while he is using the gloves to get away. Finally I switched to my AR a little too late. Switched back to my laser gun, hit him two times for 78 damage. So I've now hit this guy for probably like close to like 150-ish damage for everything I've done to him in the last little bit. Now I see this AI down here just standing, so I decide just to shoot him to make him go aggro. There'll be more footprints on the screen to try to scare that player off a little bit. And I hear, see this other player behind me, so I jump up and one quick gatekeeper shot finishes him. Now this guy comes up with the gloves and the last two shots finish him and it's GG's for that player. Now whenever you do get into a fight, if you know there's another player around, always be ready and expect them to just jump on you to try to third party it. So next, I heal up and keep rotating and I catch this weekend just chilling out in the open. So I quickly fry him with a couple gatekeeper shots, most likely an AI, nothing really big there. Now I hear shooting behind me, so I immediately again use my gloves to reposition closer to where the shooting is. Now I'm up on this hill, and I see his car driving on past, 
And now watch how quickly I just delete this vehicle from the game with my tri-beam laser rifle. So I give chase, still looking for the car. I'm still up on a little bit of a high ground. Go you know, here, see the car again, and kaboom, done. That easy. I get an assist in the process of doing that. Then I see another player jumping around right there, so I immediately go to push them. And now I see this guy fizzing, so I know he's weak. I end up doing a ground pound on him, hit him with a couple gatekeeper shots while he's fleeing. Now I'm getting shot by somebody else off in the distance, but I just keep aggroing this one player who's fleeing, the splinter skin. And I switch to the combat AR and laser him. And now I've got another medallion to add to my inventory. So as I'm going to go grab this medallion so I know another player's there, I literally just switch to my pickaxe, grab the medallion, and don't bother looking at the loot because I have good enough loot at this point in my opinion. I don't need any other loot to win this game. And at this point, there's really only one other player in this lobby that I need to be worried about in my opinion, and that's probably the player with the last medallion. Now, also notice how I've had a pretty easy game this game as I didn't go for a medallion right away because when you have a medallion if someone sees it on the map and you're shooting that way you're more likely to get into more third party situations and have more players coming at you because of it. So I ended up frying the one bot on the hill that was in the fight with this player here and then I ended up frying the other player now this guy jumps up John Cena thinking I can't see him so I deke down jump back up again hit him with a couple gatekeeper shots get Again, switch over to the combat AR and grab the very last medallion. Now I have all three, and now somebody is trying to fry me with a tri beam laser rifle out of the distance. So I quickly reload all my weapons, and then get closer to them, and a couple gatekeeper shots takes out this Lewis Hamilton skin. And now the car's coming for me, but luckily I have the nitro medallion, so I'm pretty fast at moving. I put a quick few shots on it with my laser rifle, and then immediately use my gloves just to reposition because I don't want to be near that car. Now I'm sitting on top of this hill looking for this car and now watch again I just start laying into it with my tri -beam laser rifle. He starts shooting grenades at me so immediately I flee and reposition on top of some rooms where cars can't go. I see him on top of the hill and he immediately backs up because he knows he's going to get fried by my laser rifle again. People when you start shooting them with this thing in a car they just flee from you because they know how much damage it does to their cars. Then I see some more shooting off towards that, where that vehicle just went. And I see that this vehicle's in a fight with another player. So now that vehicle takes out that player and it's a 1v1 situation. I start laying into this vehicle with the laser rifle. And again, kaboom. Jump, get close to this guy and his NPC. And it's GG's with a few shots from the Mythic Gatekeeper. And that, folks, is how you win a game of zero builds without really having to use vehicles and how I like to counter them. And that was also my 21st crown win this season and a win with all three medallions and I ended up getting 16 kills in that game with this playstyle. So I hope you enjoyed this video but that will be all for now. I am Big Papa Smurf 187 and thank you all so very much for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and let me know down below what your favorite strategy is this season for counting all the people who love to use their vehicles. And I'll hopefully catch you on the next video. Bye for now, and don't forget to have fun gaming.